This is the most disappointing book I have read all year. I was incredibly excited when I got the email that said that I could read Jordan Peele's new horror book, Out There Screaming, full of horror short stories from 19 different black authors before it was even published. So I felt so special. I was so excited to get to it. But I am sad to say that the collection and the stories that I read were so bad that I couldn't even finish the book. Let's talk about it. A common theme that I saw in this collection was incompleteness. And no, I do not mean this in a pretentious way. I mean the stories literally felt unfinished. This collection had me wondering if I'm stupid. And there's just a lot of symbolism that I don't understand. Or if the stories really are incomplete. Maybe it's too smart for me. I don't want to have to dissect a story after I finish to understand it. By the end of a story, you're supposed to have all the pieces necessary to understand. I do not want to have to sit there and think about it until I get it. And on top of that, I shouldn't have to guess what the point of the story was. Be like, oh, um, I guess it's about so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so and that's why this happened. Like, no, I shouldn't know and have no questions about what the point was. I shouldn't even let this book make me question my intelligence in the first place. Because I have read books on the more abstract side before with no problem. You can tell when something is intentionally abstract. Because the meaning is still obvious in a way. Even if it's not like obvious obvious, you still get it. Because it's written with intention. I don't think these stories were written with the intention of being abstract. They just don't make sense. Maybe in the author's minds they make sense, but it did not translate on page. The stories would go from point A to point D with no explanation of how they passed points B and C. I ended so many of the stories with questions and just the feeling that I'm missing something. A lot of times when I finished the story, I would sit there and ask myself, what was the point? The stories felt pointless with no closure and just no reason for the story to end how it did or go in the direction that it went because it's directionless. There were several stories where I would start the story and then I would be like, okay, I could tell it's building to something. And I would keep feeling like that, you know, it's building to something. And then next thing you know, I look down and it's two pages left and nothing still ain't happened. Because it wasn't building to nothing. It was it was just there to be there. Like, I feel like people was just writing just to write with no kind of structure. They were writing without the end in mind. Or they were writing with just the end in mind. And they didn't care to get us to the end in a way that made sense. Just directionless and pointless, like I said. Let's talk about some of the individual stories that I read. I read nine of them out of 19, and honestly, nine was too many. I wish I had stopped earlier. Let's start with the only story that I loved and genuinely enjoyed. Tanana Reeve Do's The Writer was an amazing story. I should have known it would be because she is the queen of horror, the queen of everything. She's my number one favorite author of all time. But the fact that before I read her story, I was going in like, if this story ain't good, I'm fighting somebody. Because the collection was so bad that it even had me questioning if the queen was going to come through. But she delivered. For one, her story actually felt complete. I was not left with any questions at the end. I understood everything that happened. It definitely had me on the edge of my seat wondering what was going to happen because it was truly scary. It was set in the 60s about these sisters who get on a bus to travel and go join the Freedom Riders. And then they get an unexpected passenger. Tanana Reeve Du's story is the only story that was still holed up in a collection of heavy hitters. With the other stories that I enjoyed in the collection, I feel like I only enjoyed them compared 
to the other terrible stories. Like, in this collection, they're good. But in a great collection of stories, they would just be alright. The stories I'm thinking of are Eye and Tooth by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is about monster hunters who get called to investigate something strange. It was good, but not great. Enjoyable, but not impressive. Next, we have Lazarin by Erin E. Adams. This one is about a siren. I really enjoyed her debut novel, Jackal. But this story was enjoyable, but forgettable. It made sense, unlike a lot of the other stories in the collection. That's like my only criteria for being enjoyable in this book. Just make it make sense and you're automatically one of the best stories. That's sad. And lastly, for the stories that I enjoyed, The Other One by Violet Allen. This is about a woman who just went through a breakup and has a moment of weakness and texts her ex. And then she receives a very mysterious message back. I really enjoyed the vibes of this one. It had interesting imagery. But in a non-shocking turn of events, I was left with questions at the end. Big questions. So although it was enjoyable, it was still a disappointment. And I think after I read the first few stories, my expectations lowered so that I could enjoy something. Tanana Reeve's story is the only one that could hold up against greatness. The rest are good just because they're in a mediocre collection. Now let's talk about some of the very pointless stories that I hated. Reckless Eyeballing by N.K. Jemison. Now I am one of the few people on earth that has never connected to her writing. So I was scared when the collection opened with her because she's just not for me. Technically, her story was not completely pointless. There was commentary about police brutality and how black women are constantly disregarded when things happen to us. I really appreciated that, but I feel like the story could have been done better. There should have been more layers to it. And the end of the story was straight up pointless. That's the word for the day. Pointless is the word for the day. Y'all gonna get sick of hearing me say that word, but I'm gonna keep saying it because that's exactly what this collection is. Pointless. Next, let's talk about Invasion of the Baby Snatchers by Leslie Neka Arama. This is about an alien invasion happening through impregnating humans with alien babies. Now this one started off really good. I really felt like it was going somewhere. It started off with action. It was very creepy. And then towards the end, it just got very confusing and had no closure. Wandering Devil by Cadwell Turnbull, Pressure by Ezra Clayton Daniels, and The Aesthete by Justin C. Key were literally not even about anything. I was taking notes while I was reading this book because I knew that I was going to review it and I wanted to write down my thoughts. And in my notes I have a section underneath each story where I write what the story was about so that I won't forget. For every single one of these three, under the about section. I put, I don't even know, because nothing happened. Whole bunch of build up, no payoff. These are the stories that I was talking about when I said I would be sitting there like, okay, this is building to something. I could tell this is building to something and I'm finished and it didn't ever build to nothing. I didn't even finish the aesthetes. I learned to cut my losses and dip if the story was bad. I was incredibly confused. I couldn't picture nothing that was going on. So, bye. I really did try to keep reading. I, I tried to finish. I really tried to finish. But I read one page of the next story and just put it down. Because I realized I just don't care no more. It ain't that I could tell that the story was going to be bad or nothing. I just don't care no more. Did I go in with too high expectations because Jordan Peele's name was on it? No. Any book that I pick up, I expect it to be good. I wouldn't pick it up if I didn't think it was going to be good, and this was not good. It was a complete waste of time. I wish I could get my hours back that I spent reading this. I'm very shocked that Jordan Peele even put his name on this. Did he really read these stories and say, ooh, that's good, let's put that in the collection? Like, there's no way that he thought those stories were good. This was just a huge waste of time. I'm glad that I read Tanana Reeve Do's story, but I could have done without every other story. 
So, I'm going to need you to go ahead and like and subscribe so that you can keep up with me when I post videos about actually good books. Comment down below and let me know your favorite black horror book that people need to read instead of this. Or just leave me a red heart emoji so that I know that you made it this far into the video. If you want to see a book review for an actually good horror novel that made sense, had layers and depth to the story, and had beautiful writing, watch my slightly chaotic review of I Feed Her to the Beast and the Beast is Me by Jameson Shea. Add that book to your reading list and take out their screaming off. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Hopefully the next one will be more positive rather than me ranting about a book I hate. We'll see.